Zakariah chapter 5. And I returned, and I lifted up my eyes, and saw, and behold, a flying scroll. And he said to me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying scroll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he to me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole land, for every one that stealeth shall be cut off on the one side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off on the other side according to it. I will cause it to go forth, saith Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall abide in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Then the messenger that talked with me went forth and said, Lift up now thy eyes, and see, what is this that goeth forth? And I said, What is it? And he said, This is the ephah that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, This is their appearance in all the land. And behold, there was lifted up a kikar of lead. And this is a woman sitting in the midst of the Epah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast her down into the midst of the Epah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted I up my eyes, and saw, and behold, there came forth two women, and the wind was in their wings. Now they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the air far between earth and skies. Then said I to the messenger that talked with me, Whither do these bear the air far? And he said to me, To build her a house in the land of Shanrar, and when it is prepared, she shall be set there in her own place.